make it big, make it bad, no. Not the money, no, we stop, no. If you go enter the place, no. Say, I go give you any joy, no. Say, make you tell me your taste, no. I go spend money. Putting up the two piece signs, like like on Apple. You know how Apple got like the new features, like you put up like on Facetime. You do like this. That job, I think it does. Uh, it does something. One of them does the confetti or something like that. But I was like, okay, all right, Apple finally doing something. I mean, they you know they being a little pr productive, productive. Okay, I see you, Apple. I'm refilming this video because like I was blurry. I I was blurry like a little bit. Like when I leaned up, and then it, it was like blurry, and I, I said, "No, nah, I gotta refilm this." But no, nah, man, I don't mind refilming. I'm feeling good today, the day of my birthday. Yes, one thing about it, I do think, I thank the Lord for seeing another birthday. There's so much stuff going on in this world nowadays, man, where people are not even seeing 24. They're not even seeing 20. That's why there's so much to be grateful for. But I, I'm feeling good. I'm refilming this video. This entire video. Not only that, I was squinting on the last video. I'm trying my best to like keep my my eyes wide open. Now. Like I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to keep them wide open. I'm like, you know, but like, so it's like I'm trying to look. I love, I'm trying to look crispy. You know, crisp, crisp. crisp. Uh, it went out of focus for a little minute, but I'm trying to look crisp. Uh, today, first off, hello to you, viewer. <laughs> today is a good day that the Lord has made. This video is primarily, I'm trying to like look forward at the camera. Like, I know, I, I hopefully I'm getting better. Y'all let me know. Cause I, I be looking around, like other some video I'll be like, and I be talking, I'll be like, like, I'll be like, what, the, what am I doing? Especially like when I'm doing the vlogs, like I'm definitely gonna start trying to do that better because I get real self-conscious, like as far as like people looking at me. I get nervous people look at me or it's like I'd be like, oh man, I don't want them like the look at the camera up and I don't want them to feel some type of way because they in my shot or whatever. But ooh, ooh, Lord have mercy. Camera, you look good. I look okay, alright. Okay, really? Anyway. What well, uh, alright, I hey, 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 you get a little quick. I get a little quick scene screenshot. Cause I look I look crisp. I look crisp. Crispy, but nah, boy, that song was hitting, son. I look, I look, I look crispy. It's going so many ways. This video is basically just explaining about. I know a lot of people has a lot of worries and doubts, especially like, you know, when the Lord has something for you, it's gonna be for you. No man can stop it. No man can shut that door. No man. Man, I look, I look crispy. When God is quiet, when you feel like God is quiet, I'm telling you, he is working. The Lord is working. The Lord is always working. And the Lord is always here for you as well. And not only that, you know, God is stirring up something big for you. Like, you feel like he's quiet? That means he is literally stirring up the pot. Like, God is like literally, there's a huge blessing coming for you. Like, right now, I feel like, you know, I feel like the Lord's quiet. I feel like it's something huge. I'm talking about huge coming for me. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just know it's coming. So, December, don't be surprised if y'all see like an hour long video of what happened. You know, a lot of people are going to doubt. A lot of people are going to say this and that. Oh, you need to worry about this or you need to worry about that. No. Because guess what? All that worry, all that stress, all that anxiety, you put all into the Lord's hands. You ask the Lord to take all that worry and all that anxiety, that stress, that negativity off of your heart, off of your mind, your body, your soul, and you just get it, give it all to the Lord. You put it on the altar. What the Lord has for you, and no man, no woman, nothing on this earth can stop it but God. Alright? But as long as you accept, which whoever's reading it, I advise you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior because there's a lot going on in this world right now. I'm just telling y'all. Like, if you ain't right with God, I advise you to get right with him right now. So, but, I just look crispy, man. But anyway, whatever the Lord has for you is meant for you. 
Um, and if God gives you a vision, when God, when you praise to God about something, especially when the Lord gives you a vision, like just know that a lot of people, when you explain it to people, they will not understand. They won't. They'll be second guess. They'll be doubting it. They won't. They're not going to understand what what you're talking about because when the Lord gives you a vision, when the Lord tells you something, when the Lord gives you a certain feeling in your heart, that is meant for you to understand, especially at that certain period of time. No other person will understand because it's meant for you. They're going to understand when it does happen. They're gonna, it's going to crack all their face now. But also, when you do receive that blessing, make sure you remain humble and make sure you stay with God. You stay with the Lord. You stay with Jesus. You continue to praise the Lord. Continue to thank Jesus. Continue to stay in church. Continue to stay in God's word. Because a lot of people, where I think they mess up at is that, you know, when you do receive that blessing for the Lord, then that's when you forget about God. That's something you don't want to do. Uh, the Lord, one thing, will test your faith. And uh, isolation comes with that. Like, when the Lord isolates you, your faith, like, increases huge, humongously. But... You got to continue to have faith in the good and bad times because you have, a, you know, life is going to have rough waters. So and it's never going to be perfect at all. But um, when that that huge blessing come for you, make sure you, you remember who gave you that blessing, who uh, uh, introduced you to that blessing, who who puts you in that blessing, because God did. God did give all that worry, all that negativity to the lord there's nothing to worry about because guess what the god got you god got you if you put god first and his son jesus first in your life he got you a lot of people really put a lot of materialistic items and other individuals and human beings before god and before jesus and that's where you mess up at that's a big no-no because i mean you won't be moving in your life if you if that nah you, you'll be seeing a lot of downs more than ups and not only that, a lot of people, you know, put money over God and over Jesus, especially this generation, because a lot of people think that life is all about money and getting certain items. No, because guess what? When you go on, all this is going to stay here. You ain't taking none of this with you. So that's not what life is about. Life is not all about money and materialism. Life is about literally striving just to have a godly life but also striving just to you know basically make it to our actual home and one day actually you know living with the lord and living with his son jesus you know i mean yeah like on this this all this materialist item like i saw on, on i think it was instagram one day it was like basically waking up just to get this uh, get this money or something like that but if you waking up just to get money that is not that should not be your primary focus at all make a whole separate video on that too that should not be your primary focus like no waking up this the uh, aim is to get some more money or whatever materialistic items got people so much in the rap is crazy but i will explain that in a very different video but my main point is, you know, when the Lord gives you a vision, and I'm not talking about no vision, like if you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, I ain't talking about that type of vision. But when the Lord gives you a vision, you follow it, and only you will understand. All that doubt, all that worry that people try to make you basically worry about, um, you just give it to God. Because guess what? What the Lord gives you, the Lord is going to give you things that you can handle. He will never give you things that you can't handle. So don't worry. Don't worry. If God gave you a vision, if God told you you're going to be here or uh, be this and that one day, then that's what's going to happen. Other people won't understand because it's not meant for them. It's not meant for them. It's meant for you to understand. So God one day is going to literally do it. and He's going to show you. And when he does do it, when he does give that blessing to you, it's going to put a crack on a lot of people's faces because they're going to be like, what? Yeah. Because God does the unimaginable. God does the unthinkable. Literally. God does the impossible. 
So be ready. Be ready. Like with me, I'm preparing myself for that big blessing that God has for me. I know it is coming. It is literally so close. But I don't know what it is, and I don't even know when it's coming. But I know it's close. And um, like I said, you stay right with the Lord. You stay close by the God. You stay close by. Stay close with God. Stay close with Jesus. Stay in the Word. Stay in church. I'm telling y'all, do it. And for whoever is viewing this, if you ain't right with God, I advise you to get right. And I advise you to stand on business. Okay? Hope y'all enjoy this word for today. And I hope y'all have a beautiful day. I hope y'all have a successful week, successful October. October's a beautiful month. The last three months of the year is always beautiful. We got Christmas. We got Harry Potter. We got Frosty Snowman. We got Polar Express. We got Christmas. We got Harry Potter. We got Thanksgiving. We got Halloween. Oh, man, it's up. It's up. It's all. These are the best three months of the year. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this this word, and uh, hope y'all take it with y'all. I hope it makes sense to y'all. I just feel like I just really need to say this, but uh, I it was actually in my plans for videos. Like I have more videos that I do want to do like this in a sense, because I want to do. I want. I want to get better being in front of the camera, but yeah, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs>